Hello everybody, welcome to my guitar vlog number 17 and in this lesson I'm going to talk about how you can arrange your downstrokes and upstrokes when you are you know creating a picking pattern for example if you are creating an arpeggiating pattern like something of this sort so what is the philosophy behind you know when should I play uh, use a downstroke or when should I use an upstroke so the idea is very simple the idea is economy of movement whenever you are playing a downstroke or an upstroke you have to think of what's next for example if I take a very basic pattern like five four two three what I'm going to do is down down up up why? Because when I'm playing the 5th string, I have to think what's next. The next string I'm going to play is 4. So, 4 is below 5. So, definitely I'm going to use a downstroke, not an upstroke. Because if I use an upstroke, I'll be going away from my destination, the next target, which I don't want. So, I'll play a downstroke, alright? It makes me move closer to the next string. And the next string is 4. And after that, we have 2, right? So definitely I'm going to play a downstroke because it takes me closer to my destination so 5, 4, 2, 3 and the next string I'm going to play is second string and now see if I play a downstroke my next target is third string so I'll be moving away from my target which I don't want so I'm going to play an upstroke and in that in this way I can move closer to the third string and after third string what do I have so this pattern is done right down down up then I'll, I'll be playing up because after playing the third string I'll have to go back to the fifth string like it's a pattern oriented right five four two three five four two three so this is how you manage the patterns right so if, let us take a basic example which you can practice so we are going to take down down up up five four two three the same example we took and after this chord we are going to remove this third finger off so we are going to take a minor seven so first chord was c each chord we are going to play twice a minor seven is like this I'm taking a very basic chord progression C A minor 7 then F sus 2 F sus 2 is what your A minor 7 is like this you just remove the middle finger off and put your third finger on fourth string third fret is F naught okay so here I'm playing 4 3 2 3 4 3 2 3 I'm changing the patterns okay sorry 5 4 2 3 5 4 2 3 5 4 2 3 A minor 7 F sus 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, back to G. For G, what I'm doing, I'm just playing this note only. Sorry. So, I'm playing 6, 4, 2, 3, 6, 4, 2, 3. Let's take a look at this pattern. So you play this pattern a few times and next we are going to take a different chord progression you know now let's take a group of eight separate string notes like we are playing four beats and we are repeating it now we have a unique set of eight notes so, so first I'll tell you the string numbers we'll do it with one chord okay and I'll give you an assignment you're going to do on your own the pattern will be same so for example if we take a chord progression with G not a chord progression a picking pattern so 
what I'm doing here is so now let's take a picking pattern using the six five two three one two three two write it down six five two three one two three two six five two three one two three two and now let's analyze how we are going to use the down strokes and up strokes in this pattern after six we have five so we're going to take down after five we have two so again down but after two we have three we are going to take up so far down down up then after two we have three and after three we have six five two three one so after three we have one so after playing an upstroke here we cannot take an upstroke here because it will take us away from the first string so we'll have to take a down stroke so down down up down then one two three two right so after one we have two so we can take an upstroke then we have two after two we have three so we can take an upstroke so up up then after three we have two so for three again we have take to take a down stroke and after two we have to take an upstroke because the system is getting back to its previous state down down up sorry down down up down up up down up down down up down up up down up up down up down down up down up up down up okay so this is the new pattern and using this pattern you can take other chord progressions like for c at 9 C at 9 what you can do is 5 4 2 3 1 2 3 2 5 4 2 sorry 2 3 1 2 3 2 5 4 2 3 1 2 3 2 next up we can take uh, C at 9 what we can do is 5 4 2 3 1 2 3 2 look at my left hand if you don't know C at 9 it's G if you bring the upper fingers one string down 5, 4, 2, 3, up. 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. Similarly, for E minor 7, E minor 7 is like this, holding G, you just bring these two fingers in place of the E minor chord, alright? So for E minor 7, you hold it like this, bring your G. Hold G like this and bring the first two fingers in form of E minor. You can do the same thing because of the noise I have to finish it off early. And last chord is D sus2. I'll tell you D sus4. I'll tell you the the picking pattern. It's 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. Alright. So the same pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And if you consistently practice this, it'll become a an habit and then become a habit. Alright, and this is how you'll be able to understand and you can create your own cool picking patterns. So I hope it helps. Don't forget to follow me in Steemit and also check out my YouTube channel and Facebook page in the name of Tams Guitar and I'll see you soon with more new lessons. Take care. Bye-bye.